star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. For over 70 years, Red Skelton entertained audiences across America. But what few know is that his career began on the streets of Vincennes. The youngest of four boys to a widowed mother, Red Skelton began working at only eight years old as a newsboy performing for passersby in a bid to sell papers. It was on one such day, while standing in front of the famed Pantheon Theater, that his performance attracted the attention of a well-dressed gentleman. And he said a, a very fancy dressed man came by and, and asked if he was going to the show that night. And Red said, no, no, I can't. I've, I need to sell my papers. So the man gave him a dollar and gave him a ticket to the show that night. And when the curtains opened, there he was. The man who had bought his papers was the star that night. Hit the person next to him and said, that's my friend, that's my friend. At intermission, Ed Wynn brought him backstage and he held him up to the big lead-weighted curtains and he peeked through the curtains and he said, looking at that audience, that's what really wanted him to be in the show business and to make people laugh. First in vaudeville and then as an MC for dance marathons, Red traveled the country performing. But it wasn't until he met his first wife and business partner, Edna, that Red's popularity began to grow. Performing together as the Donut Dunkers, the comical couple made their radio premiere in 1937. By 1941, Red had his own radio show. Over the next decade, he would perform for the likes of Franklin D. Roosevelt and appear in over 40 MGM studio films. Yet his passion remained with radio and the birthplace of many of his beloved characters, including the iconic Junior and his legendary phrase, I doot it. The phrase became such a part of the national lexicon that when General Doolittle conducted the World War II bombing of Tokyo, newspapers across the country declared, do little do it. After the end of the war, including Red's own service in the Army Entertainment Corps, the nation finally had the opportunity to see Skelton's characters come to life with the television premiere of The Red Skelton Show on September 30th, 1951. The Red Skelton's TV show, it ran from 1951 to 1971, 20 years, and it was in the variety show format, so it was a series of sketches that would be performed by Red and his guest stars, and those were just the, the stars of the day, because it was a topical show, like Saturday Night Live or something that we might see today was the Red Skelton show. And so as different things were occurring in the country and in the world, Red would reflect on those in a funny way in his Red Skelton show. I think the thing that stood out most about Red Skelton during his television show was just his love for his country, his love to laughter, and just his kindness. And it was just so much fun for people to watch it, and his patriotism just really shone through. Probably one of Red's most famous patriotic skits was his Pledge of Allegiance, and he credits that to a fourth grade teacher right here in Vincennes, Indiana. Mr. Laszlo, he says, was his name. And during that Pledge of Allegiance, Red recites it, but he describes each word and what it means so that when people say the Pledge of Allegiance, they're not just saying the words, but they're actually feeling the meaning of the pledge. The Pledge of Allegiance was first aired in 1969. It was kind of a tumultuous time in the United States. And I think people could, could look to Red and go, okay, we, we are still a great country and we are still proud of where we're from. And I think that's what was important to Red. And justice, the principle or qualities of dealing fairly with others for all, for all, which means boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. After the show's cancellation in 1971, Red Skelton returned to the theater, performing for audiences until his death on September 17, 1997, at the age of 84. After his passing, the acting Vincennes University president, Dr. Philip Summers, petitioned to build a theater and museum in honor of Skelton's legacy. In 2006, the Red Skelton Performing Arts Center opened on the Vincennes University campus. Seven years later, on the 100th anniversary of Red's birth, the Red Skelton Museum opened to the public. The Red Skelton Museum is 3,500 square feet of sheer fun. It is so interactive and just something for every age. But you're not just reading about Red and looking at pictures about Red. You can actually be a part of it. You can listen to his radio shows. You can actually enter sound effects, pantomime on a green screen with Red. And in our character gallery, you'll get to do interactive clown makeup. 
virtually on your face. The museum's motto is preserving Red's legacy of laughter. And that's what we want to do here because, you know, not everybody today remembers Red Skelton being on television, but his humor is relatable to everyone. The thing about Red Skelton and really preserving his legacy is that he is an example for generations to come. Of You may come from poor beginnings and really struggle, but you can, through your own perseverance and your own hard work, really go on to be successful and bring joy to so many people all throughout the world. And if by chance someday you're not feeling well, and you should remember some silly little thing that I've said or done, and it brings back a smile to your face or a chuckle to your heart, then my purpose has been served for my fellow man. May I wish you all continued success, and God bless. Good night. Thank you.